Hey everybody, Mike here, Roland Picker. Today's video is going to be my April sales. So without further ado, let's get on over there and see what I did for the month of April. Alright, first item up is this uh, Harley Davidson cookbook. Sold this for $4.95 plus $2.95 shipping and handling. Next item is a uh, Harley Davidson Samsung Galaxy cell phone cover, official Harley Davidson, licensed by Harley, $8.99 with $2.95 shipping and handling. And then we sold uh, this diamond plate uh, skull biker wallet, nice little, uh, nice little billfold, $10, $2.95 shipping and handling. Then I sold two of these humidors, the Chateau 20 count black humidor for uh, $23.90 each with free shipping. Sold uh, two stinky ashtrays to the same uh, customer, $21.49 with free shipping. And moving along, sold a cigar reminder, our yellow one, uh, with a bonus of a uh, double-bladed double guillotine cigar cutter, free. Sold the yellow one for $12.95, free shipping. And we sold the last of our green cigar reminder with the free uh, cigar cutter. Twelve ninety five with free shipping. Okay, moving along. Sold this Prestige Import Group Gold Retractable Punch Cigar Punch, nice little piece, fifteen fifty with free shipping. And then uh, I sold uh, a couple of books. Sold uh, this one and this one to the same uh, buyer, and then we had another purchase. So, did pretty good. Just three books under that account. Nothing, nothing else spectacular. In the cutlery, I sold uh, two of the uh, boot dagger dagger knives. That's a really nice knife. So we're out of those. Got uh, fifteen ninety five each and free shipping. Did a bogo. Sold all eight of the lights. Had an issue with a couple of them after the customer got them. So uh, I had to order some more to replace that. And then they asked me if uh, I was going to get any more in. I told them I had another knife order with some more coming in. And made a deal with them to, uh, after I've replaced the two, to buy some more. And I'll show that one down here. Um, we sold this Colt Tactical, Black Tactical uh, Knife, $12.95 with free shipping. A United Cutlery Black Legion Savage Mini Covert Spring Assist Knife. It's a nice little knife, and it's really quick. Opens really quick. Ten ninety nine free shipping. Sold this uh, Sharp Three Inch Junior Tactical Pocket Knife, and it's not really all that big when it's open. It's like five and a half inches. It's a small blade. It's a good knife, beginner knife for uh, uh, kids if you want to teach them about knife safety and how to handle a knife. Um, this customer bought bought uh, two of these and then I'll show you later on came back and bought another one and then we sold this Alabama knife for 325 with 270 shipping and handling this Colt 5 inch carbon fiber frame lock sold one at uh, 949 and 295 shipping and handling here's the other knife that that prior customer bought they got it for 265 and 295 shipping and handling The next uh, item is this Fury Camping Mess Utensil Knife, Hobo Knife. I call them a Hobo Knife. It's just a camping knife. It's a pretty good uh, pretty good unit. Um, it comes with a military style sheath. Nice little unit. $12.95 free shipping. And then uh, if you remember the BOGO lights, uh, that customer, a couple of them, like I said, ended up being... Uh, defective when they got there um, and we learned a hard lesson with these if you don't turn them off hard they th will bounce and light up and uh, that's what she said they came with the light on and then when she turned them off and turned them back on they wouldn't uh, turn back on again so I told her when I got some more in I'd let her know and she bought four more back from me along with the two replacements I sent that I gave her free $15.60 and then the next item 
was this Colt 8.5 inch G10 tactical pocket knife. Sold that for $15.98 free shipping. And then this Colt Buckshot Bone Fire Starter to start your uh, campfires when you're out camping. You know, not everybody carries matches and lighters, but if you have one of these and a knife, you'll always be able to start a fire. And then this uh, Eagle Simulated Scrimshaw Handle Lockback Knife, 7 and a quarter inch BOGO. Sold that for uh, $11.79 and 270 shipping and handling. And as you can see, that's uh, about it. You know, like I said, sales weren't up in the thousands, but you know, it uh, moved some inventory, made enough to, after fees and, and all to uh, treat myself to a, to a burger. And like I said before, you know, not everybody's going to make $10,000 a month. Not everybody's going to make $1,000 a month. Heck, not everybody's going to make $300, you know, a month, maybe let alone a week. So, you know, don't get discouraged. If you're just starting out, you're selling stuff around the house that you don't need. You're learning the system. You're learning some tactics. You know, that's like the shipping. You noticed on some of my listings, I had shipping that varied between 270 and 295 And um, then I had free shipping on some items. I don't, I can't tell you exactly which one works better. I use them both. Um, you just have to go with... If you're going to want to do free shipping, then you need to tack the shipping into the selling price. And then just know that whatever the shipping charge is going to cost. And you know what? Shipping isn't just the postage. You've got to, you know, you've got to count into consideration your bubble mailer, your label, your ink, your time. You know, eBay allows reasonable shipping, what they consider reasonable shipping. eBay allows for, for those things because they know that it's not just the postage. Because, quite honestly, when you use in a bubble mailer, and then you've got your label, and your tape, and then whatever else you're adding to it, you know, the bubble mailer is going to add a little bit, and you know, with postage, you have to round up. You, 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 you can't buy postage for something that weighs 2.5 ounces. You have to go to 3. So, maybe the item weighed 2 ounces before you added your bubble mailer or your box. So, you know, you have to take that into consideration. Um... Which one works best? I don't know yet. I'm still playing with it. And I've been on eBay since the early days, back in 2000. And uh, I charged shipping on everything there back then. And uh, now I'm kind of just I'm playing around with it, trying to find out what suits me, what suits my customer base. Because not all customers are the same. There are a lot of customers that realize that, hey, there's a shipping charge. I pay shipping, you know, and uh, and and they pay the shipping and to get their item and then there's others that just won't buy unless it's free shipping no matter what so and you have to think about that too if you're doing uh buy it now best offer and you're doing free shipping if you're going to do that i suggest you add your shipping and then maybe tack on a buck or two more because you know you're going to get lowballed and you don't have to take the lowball offer but you know you just want to give yourself some cushion and then that way you don't have to worry about it so anyway that's the video for today, and I hope you found it informative as well as entertaining. Um, if you liked it, thumbs up, and leave your comments down below. And if you've got any questions, you can leave them down below. If you don't want to leave your questions down below, you can go, always go ahead and send them to askmike at yahoo.com. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. And if you find this these videos that I'm doing informative and interesting, pass them on to those that you think could benefit from them. All right, that's what I'm doing these, just, just try to help people. So, again, that's it for today. I uh, pray that God blesses you all with uh, great health and many sales and uh, decent weather because I know some places are getting rain while others are getting hotter temperatures. So, y'all, we'll see you in the next video. Mike, Roland Picker, out.